My name is Jose Daniel Irizarry, and I'm, and I'm one of the English tutors at the Academic Retention and Integration Center of the Inter-American University Ponce campus. Today we're going to be discussing the grammatical structures of non-referential it and there. Okay, so first we need to know a little basis of what the referential it and there are. The words it and there are generally known as pronouns. Now pronouns have their characteristic of referring to another element in the same sentence. Also, they can be pointing to something in the preceding statement. Now let's look at an example. We saw a car crash and drove past it. Here we can see the word it referring to a noun phrase, a car crash. This makes it referential. Now let's see when it is not referring to anything specific previously mentioned. In the, in the next example, it's snowing since last night, it is not referring to anything specific. It is actually taking the place of the subject in the sentence. It has no meaning by itself. Sentences with a non-referential it are used to talk about weather, temperature, time, days of the week, holidays, distances, and environment. Let's see some examples of these. It's raining outside. That refers to the weather. It's 60 degrees, now that refers to the temperature. It's 4 o'clock, that's a time. It's Monday, 3rd of July, that's a day. It's Christmas, a holiday. It's an approximately 70 mile trip from Ponce to San Juan. Now that explains the uh, distance. It's really quiet outside, that's the environment. Now let's practice. Identify it as referential or as non-referential. For example, it's Christmas. We can see that it's a non-referential it because it's only taking the place of the subject and it's not referring to anything specific previously mentioned. Now I want you to do some exercises. Let's look at the first one. It was so chilly in the room that I had to get out of there. Let's think about the it. Is it referential or non-referential? Here we can see that the it is not referring to anything specific. It's just talking about the weather or the environment in the room. Second exercise. I lost my wallet. Please let me know if you find it. Now in this exercise, the it is referring to what? To the wallet. So this is a referential it. The third exercise we used to talk about going to the show almost every day and when it finally debuted, we forgot to buy the tickets. So this it, is it referential or non-referential? It is referential because we're talking about the show. Now let's look at more exercises. I've been so sick that I don't even know what day it is. In this case, it is not referring to anything specific. It's just talking about the day. Next exercise says, the prize of the talent show is a trip to Disney World and he won it. Now this it, you can see that it's referring to the prize of the talent show. And the last exercise, we see that it says, it feels great being back home. Here, he's just talking about a feeling, so it's a non-referential it. Now I hope that with these exercises and brief discussion, you have a more clear idea of the uses of the non-referential it and there. But now remember, this is just part one, so be on the lookout for part two.